But the first thing to do is to generate our project with the Rails new association. I named the project association. What do we need to um, make our association work? We need our models. Association shows the relationship between models, how it connects together. So I have our models generated. To generate our models, we'll make use of the Rails G uh, models, and depending on the name we want. Um, I have the user generated, the group, the book, and the book group. For the user model, we have the um, as many relationship. We have as many books and the as many groups. Okay, the as many has to do with many to many relationship. The as many to the as many is written in the plural form. We cannot because when we are saying as many, we are saying it has more than one thing. So it has to be in the plural form. Then for the book group, we also have um, the as many relationship. The book groups is also in the plural form. Then for the um, as many trust association, the as many trust association would make use of three models. We have the um, the truth table serves um, it bridges um, two different models together. The table will not interact directly, but the way the table can interact together is through the truth table, and the truth table also enables to enables um, us to get access to data specific to the relation that is specific to the table. We um we are using, then we can have something like user dot books. So um I'm going to show us this in our real scan. So then for the belongs to association and the class name, the belongs to would be in the singular form and the just one. Then for our class name, the class name prevents the duplication of data. It shows an alliances in our relationship. You know instead of creating an auto model, we do not have an auto model. Our auto also is also our user. So um, Rails is not expecting something like auto. So instead of um, Rails being confused, we made it of class name user, which is referencing to the user model. For our as one, um, as one re um, reviewer, so this just has to do with one-to-one one -one, um, relationship. And this is also in the singular form. For our truth table, which is the book group, um, it always um, belongs to. We don't have as many in our true um, true table, and it's in the singular form. Okay. In order to show the relationship in, with the true table, I would have to create our user um, user the create username. Okay, um, so user has been created. So we need to create for book. Okay, has to be in capital letter book. Do create? Okay, for the book we have the title. Um, Ellison. Then in order to make reference so we can get the book dot um the user dot book we have to write the author then um call our user which is the variable okay now to um check it would um make use of our variable the user then um the books okay so now this is it this shows that the book has been created so let's say, for example, we have 10 users and um, let's say user um, with the ID three created 10 books. So instead of getting, try to get the book with, um, we can easily get the book through the user, through the variable we use to create the user and dot books then. It will show us the 10 books that was created for the user. That's what association helps to do and through the use of. So basically, um, polymorphic association connects a model to multiple models. Okay, I've generated our models. We have um, announcement model, comment model, student model, and teacher model. For the um, comments, okay, for example, the announcement, the student, and the teacher has many comments. 
But um, the teacher and the student cannot make comments at the same time. So the teacher or the student will make a comment. So poly polymorphic association comes in when we are trying to differentiate who gave the comment, the teacher or the student. Now, in our comment, our comment model, we have um, belongs to announcement, belongs to commentable, polymorphic true. The commentable is not a model in the application. It's taking care of the po of polymorphic association. So and um, we um, added the um, suffix able for polymorphic association. The student and um, the teacher model has many comments through the polymorphic association commentable. So the way to show the relationship is through the commentable, um, which represents the polymorphic association. So in order to um, show this better, I would use the real score to, to create the teacher, the announcement, and the comment. Okay, the teacher has been created. Then um, for the announcement, and for the comment, so from the comment, I would add, this is what would show the relationship. Now the comment has been created. Now to check the teacher's comments, we'll just call the variable as the teacher dot comment. Now this is the comment that was made by the teacher. Yes, sir. Okay, the other way to run this to um show the comment is to hide the ID in case you don't want um, just the announcement, and you want to add the ID. Let's create another teacher. Okay, let's create for student. Um, student. Okay, the student has been created. Then in announcement, just. Now for the comment, add the announcement. Announcement underscore ID. And dot ID. So this is even to so make use of the ID. And um, comment table. So the person that made the comment this time is the student, not the teacher. That's for the comment. Just same air. And we have the type. We have to who made the comment, and that's the student. The comment table type. Okay, it has been created. Now we can call it the student dot comment. Now this is it. So this is another way. This is us to do it. You adding the ID, and this part you don't need to add the ID. So this is how um, polymorphic association works. It helps to um, sort out things and to differentiate things between models in a single association. Then um, for the um, they have many, they as many, and the one that has been explained earlier. I hope you'll be able to understand. And when you read the article, it would help to understand the concept better.